Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on VeChain whose current price stands at the 0.019 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is up by 2.54% and in this video I want to give you the long term and the short term scenarios that I expect to play out here on the VeChain chart basing my analysis on the edge of structures the Fibonacci's the key areas of support and resistances and also draw out any key chart patterns that you have in information on this chart and allow me to kickstart the video here on the daily chart giving you a brief of what has been happening here on the VeChain chart and also give you the long term scenario that I expect to play out and here on the daily chart you can see from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side taking us back to an all time high at around the 0.28 dollar mark in a movement that I'm terming as a higher edge to have count one to the upper side and after making it to an all time high we have been seeing no prices in this massive ABC correct movement which has now taken us back to around the 0.02 dollar mark and in that movement that is what I'm terming as a higher ADO 12 count 2 and after seeing the low for that higher ADO 12 count 2 whatever we expect next is a movement to the upper side in the formation of a wave 3 before we see a retracement in the formation of a wave 4 and then continue pushing even higher in the formation of a wave 5 and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of this ADO 12 structure that I have right here in the formation of our wave 2 which is a corrective wave we also expected to see an ABC corrective movement and I believe we are seeing it here on this chart in this structure that I have right here taking us back to around the 0.02 dollar mark and to give you the long term scenario that I expect to play out here on the V chain chart I can use the trend based Fibonacci to sketch out a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 that will play out in the next bull market so using the trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave three at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.46 dollar mark and that I expect to play out in the next bull market once we see that reversal to the upper side we can expect a very nice impulsive movement to the upper side in the formation of this wave three before we see that retracement over here in the formation of this wave four and then continue pushing even higher in the formation of this wave 5 and getting to the one hour chart so that I can give you the short term scenarios that I expect to play out here on the VeChain chart here on the one hour chart you can see that we made our low at around the 0.017 dollar mark and after making that low we have been seeing a very nice bounce to the upper side in a movement that has been obeying the ADO 12 structures and over here we have this ADO 12 count having that as the wave 1 then a wave 2 a wave 3 and then the formation of a wave 5 which completed the formation of a higher ADO 12 count 1 to the upper side and after seeing the formation of that high edge to have count one to the upper side whatever we expected next is a corrective movement which uh, which is in the formation of that high edge to have count two and I believe that is what we have been seeing here on the VeChain chart and over here in the formation of that high edge to have count two we have also seen an ABC corrective structure and if I draw it out we can have this as the wave A then a wave B then we continued pushing even lower in the formation of our wave C which gave us a low at around the 0.018 dollar mark in the formation of this higher ADO 12 count 2 which is right here and after seeing the low for that higher ADO 12 count 2 whatever we expect next is a movement to the upper side in the formation of this higher ADO 12 count 3 and I'm having these ADO 12 structures assuming that the low for that higher ADO 12 count 2 is in and we might have started that reversal to the upper side in the formation of that higher ADO 12 count 3 and these ADO 12 structures that I have right here are fractal waves in information within that higher ADO 12 count 3 which is an impulsive wave and in the formation of a wave 3 which is also an impulsive wave over here we also expect to see fractal waves in formation but for now we have not yet uh, managed to have uh, a good ADO 12 structure to the upper side but as the chart continues to unfold I'll be expecting to see such a structure to complete the formation of this high ADO 12 count 3 to the upper side but for now I can give you a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this higher ADO 12 count 3 using the trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave down there to the high of the wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0 
$8 mark and for that to play out and also give us confirmations that we are in the formation of this higher edge with wave con 3 we need to manage to break above the wave 1 high and that perfectly lies at around the $0.019 mark so in case VeChain manages to break above that key area of resistance uh, that is that wave 1 high and also manage to break above the key area of resistance at around the $0.02 mark there are chances that VeChain is getting back to around the $0.021 mark in the formation of that higher edge with wave count 3 before we see another retracement in the formation of our wave 4 and continue pushing even higher in the formation of another wave 5 to the upper side and we also need to have in mind that there are chances of still making a new low here on the VeChain chart. In case we see any bearish movements in the crypto market, there are chances of still making a new low here on the VeChain chart. We also need to have that in mind. Also taking a look at the indicators here on the one hour chart to see what movements will be supported here on the one hour RSI. We are trading at around the 64 mark, meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the lower side and a bit of room for us to support any movements to the upper side before we get into the overbought region also taking a look at the macd here on the macd we have printed a bullish cross and that would mean higher prices are coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated